Now that you've selected the best possible membrane during the membrane selection phase and optimized the pressure during the pressure study phase, you're ready to move on to the concentration study. During the concentration study, data will be collected that allows new logic research to give an initial estimate on the system size and system capacity for your particular application. In order to begin the concentration study, again you must pre-screen and weigh your feed sample so that you know the amount of sample you're beginning with. Start the VSIP and run both the permeate and the concentrate back to the feed tank. Adjust the system to the optimum pressure and run the system for one hour at this pressure and approximately 2.5 GPM concentrate flow rate. Once you've run the VSEP for one hour to condition the membrane, begin the concentration study by removing the permeate line from the feed tank and placing it into a separate container for collection. Before starting the concentration study, always take a sample of your feed material. As permeate is removed from the feed material, the feed material would become more concentrated. This is the concentration study. During the concentration study, be sure to take full readings, including permeate flow rate, pressure, temperature, vibration amplitude, and time intervals between readings. This data will be extremely important in calculating an average flux rate throughout your concentration study. Typical times for concentration studies are as short as six hours or as long as two or three days. If you need to stop the concentration study in the middle of the test, be sure to stop the system, collect all permeate, and close the concentrate valve. Once you've reached the end of your concentration study, remove the permeate line from the collection tank, stop the machine, and collect final samples of your final composite permeate and your final concentrate that is left in the feed tank. After collecting and weighing your samples and recording all this information on your data sheet, you're ready to calculate your final recovery rate. It's important to know when to end your concentration study. There are two reasons to stop your concentration study. The first is running out of concentrate feed material in your feed tank, indicating a low level. If you begin to suck air into the feed pump, your, your tank level is too low and the test must be stopped. The second reason to end the study is when the permeate flow rate has fallen below approximately 10 milliliters per minute. In order to maximize the throughput of your VSEP system during a concentration study, it may be necessary to alter other parameters. Specifically, temperature and pH can be manipulated to increase the throughput of your system. If necessary, repeat your concentration study at a higher temperature or at an optimized pH range. Several pH ranges can be studied as long as you stay within the pH range and temperature range of the membrane selected. After completion of your concentration study, we recommend conducting a cleaning study in order to obtain some preliminary cleaning data for your application. Basic cleaning study procedures are presented in Chapter 8.